one of my friend recently asked me how to add a banner with some scrolling text in a Streamlabs OBS. Now, I don't really have Streamlabs OBS installed on my computer. I can install it, but I believe the way Streamlabs OBS works is uh, quite close to OBS. So I'll show you how to do it in OBS. Now, for doing this, I will switch to my scene 2 and right now I am just using uh, OBS on my screen so it might look slightly weird but uh, you can ignore the uh, inception kind of uh, this, uh, <laughs> this 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 thing happening on the screen but uh, first let me show you how for first let me show you how it looks like then we'll uh, recreate it now on my particular uh, scene 2 in, in OBS and I'm sure in Streamlabs OBS you can create multiple scenes and my scene 2 is set to my, my, my desktop what I want to display on the desktop and of course uh, my small pop-up but let us focus on the header and also focus on the logo that I want to display along with uh, a background color so this is how it will look like and you can see here we have three things we have color source we have image and we also have uh, this uh, text which is scrolling so let us do it one by one and i will uh, just hide them and do it again for you guys now what you need to do you need to add uh, one color source and when you add a color source it will uh, give you the option to select a color now I want to select, let us say, let, let us select something really fancy, maybe flashy color, a fluorescent type of color like this. It looks not great. Now when you add a color source, you can always uh, change the size. But when you try to change the size, it will basically change the size, uh, keeping the aspect ratio. But there is a simple way of doing it. You can uh, uh, disregard the aspect ratio and you can do some kind of a cropping if you want. So press Alt key and if you drag from the very bottom, you can simply create like a banner. Now, right now it is on top and uh, you can move it if you want. Maybe you want to move it at the bottom, but let us keep it on top. Now, one part is done. The second part that, we, that I need to do is I need to maybe add some text. Now for adding text, I can uh, again click on plus and then add uh, a text called free type 2. And uh, let us click on OK, and you can type your text here, like uh, welcome to my channel. And I think this looks good. I may want to change the font. Uh, so let us, change, let us change the font to maybe something not too big, 72, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe a bit more than 72, so you can always adjust the size i think 96 should be fine i guess a bit more than 96 let us change it to maybe 100 or maybe 120 so you have to basically change the size if you want now once you have the text size defined you can then move the text maybe somewhere here and i think the background color can be or maybe we can change the text to uh, the, the, the color of the text to text to something else maybe I think a bit dark what about black or maybe red let us see we can change the color one and color two both to red so this there is no gradient and uh, you can of course take a look at few other things like outline or uh, drop shadow and you can change the font but let us not get into the details right now because I'm sure you can do it yourself, but uh, you can place it like this. Now, what I also want to do, I want to add a logo. Now, for adding a logo, what we can do, we can add uh, uh, maybe an image. No, not maybe, but we need to have, we need to have basically an image. And uh, when, you s when you add an image, you can simply select the image file if you want, but to save time, I will simply reuse the 
image that I already had. So I'll get rid of this and I will add one more image and I'll select add existing which is the Ravi Sagar logo. And when I add it, I can't add it. So let me just uh, select it again. Okay, so I can select it now and I will resize it maybe this is fine I guess I will place it somewhere here it is not really looking very great but I guess you get the idea maybe I will change the background to something else let me change it because I'm trying to be a bit I'm trying to make it a make it look like a perfect background so let me change the color source to some different color maybe I think we'll, we'll go for purple and uh, we will change the background of uh, not the background but the text to white white looks good for both the colors I guess so this is fine now now I think we are quite close and uh, if you want you can also change the text uh, the, the font basically I prefer using uh, impact because it looks cool and I like it and it is quite similar to my logo I can further change the size if I want but prefer not to change the size like this because it will probably pixelate your text so this looks fine and uh, what you may want to do you, you may want to now scroll it now for scrolling you can select the text and you can go to filters I believe and add one more filter effect filter called a uh, scroll and uh, when you add it I think you can leave it as it is or uh, we need to change something I, th I think we need to change the horizontal speed okay so maybe maybe on this side uh, it's a bit fast I prefer slow and this looks wonderful now one more thing that I can do now is uh, I can because when you look at the text here the text there is no space there is no margin so we can modify the text and we can basically add uh, some space here like welcome to my channel and this looks quite good now and uh, I can know I can click on the ok it's still fast but I think you can fix it so when you do when you do these things like you have logo you have text you also have uh, i believe color source you can i believe group them and uh, you can create a group like uh, fancy header and when you create a group the good thing about group is that you can always just get rid of everything or i believe you should be able to copy the group and if you go to let us say a different uh, scene you can paste it so now you're looking at this uh, header which I just created and uh, I think it is looking not bad and uh, you can always go into your uh, specific header settings if you want to modify it further so this is all I wanted to share in this video and I actually created this video for a friend and uh, I thought I can also share it with all of you. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.